The corner of Lackawanna and Wyoming Avenues was originally the home of the Wyoming Hotel, pictured here, circa 1890. Longanati's Fruit and Candy Store on the 100 block of North Washington Avenue would later be the location of the Scranton Dry Goods parking lot. In 1910, the property was purchased by I.E. Oppenheim, a local businessman, and in 1912, he opened Scranton Dry Goods. In 1916, Oppenheim purchased the Jonas Long Building on the corners of Lackawanna and Wyoming Ave, and in 1917, the expanded Scranton Dry Goods was open for business. Scranton Dry Goods continued to expand, totaling more than seven expansions over the course of 50 years. The expanded store was the first to feature air conditioning, the first garden center, the first employee cafeteria, the first beauty salon in-store, and it also housed the first escalator in any Scranton store. These are the original escalator gears from when they were installed in 1924. Pictured here are employees loading Scranton dry goods trucks with toys for orphans and underprivileged children at Christmas. This was a long-standing tradition at Scranton dry goods. Pictured here are veteran employees circa 1968, testing out the newly renovated escalators. In 1972, the store was rebranded as Oppenheim's. The poor economy and the opening of the new Viewmont Mall in Dixon City led to the store closing its doors for good in November of 1980. With progress being made on the mall at Steamtown project, the Oppenheim building was to be renovated to become part of the new mall. It was during these renovations in 1992 that a spark from a welding torch set fire to the whole building. Most of the structure was still intact and what was damaged was rebuilt during the renovations. Today, the building is home to the local Social Security Administration offices.